G'day and welcome to the Heatsig Daily for the 1st of, not 1st, for the 30th of January. I clearly have dealt with too many US states lately. Um, I am not going to be doing this on a daily basis. Uh, that has obviously long since passed. Uh, I literally have not played this game since October. There's been a new patch though, that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at that. It's just fixing crashes and uh, error handling, which is really neat. Uh, I guess we'll see if any other um, things have inadvertently been fixed as a result of changes. But it's really cool to see a patch after a good 15 months of no patches. Like that just, um, that's pretty cool. I'm quite tired. I haven't played in quite some time. I mean, obviously, I've apparently played a lot of this game, uh, but yeah, should be good. We've got a technophobe, we've got someone who's weak, which is good because it means I don't need to remember about scripts. And we've got to get three things while not being seen, which is super interesting to get with the brick. So light reinforcements, we've got a crash beam. Let's take a look at our target. So our target is in this room, right? So... And there's a captain, telepad. There's our telepad. So one thing we could do is we could try and crack in here and then come in. Or we could try and crack in here and then go there. Um, the question is, is this entrance here? Is the entrance here? I suspect the entrance will not be there. Right, and the reason for that is basically that um, we just very rarely see uh, ships where the final section is like this piece, I think. Because then you need like this to be a piece and I think they're mostly equal size. So um, I think basically you're going to see this is a piece, this is a piece. This is a piece, this, oh no, I mean one could be 4x4, four four. question is where your 4x4 four four pieces, right? Because if you got 3x3 three three chunks, then this could be 4x4 four four, and then you got 3 more 3x3s. Three um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and break through there. Um, this does have a risk, It I could basically lose the key and thus basically lose a run. Also this is gonna make things a lot slower real time because what we do is we go this way we're gonna dump me into this uh, T I remember what keys do what oh um, are you self-charging no Oh, really? Fine. The sensible thing to do would be to actually properly enter there. Um, and I may end up regretting my life choices. We'll see. Okay, so that was kind of silly, and I've wasted now a limited resource. All right, there we go. Remote the brick. So here's the plan. We go here. We get in front. And we pick a target. Ah, no, 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 no. Go in front. 
Our target is... Okay, so our target is there, which means we want to get this way. Now, we move up this way. So there's where we want to go. Right, yep. Like I said, I am somewhat rusty at this. <laughs> and missed. I probably should just go for the conventional route, but... I don't want to. Th All right, yeah. So I'll go into this in more depth in the Spelunky 2 video, but I mean, I had a daughter in June. This has resulted in many, many different parts of my life altering <laughs> and uh, just trying to deal with the time requirements. Okay, so that's near what I wanted. Doesn't appear to have dumped any guards into space. Hold A, hold D. And yeah, uh, what happens is I have work. Pretty happy with my work, to be honest. Uh, and then uh, I have time with my daughter and then my daughter goes to bed and I do not really have the time after that to make videos and spend time with my wife. I would rather spend time with my wife than make YouTube videos that, frankly, <laughs> not many people watch. And that, like, I really appreciate that people do watch them and that people subscribe. Uh, but, I mean, the vast majority of my audience are here for tip videos. I'm not playing enough games to justify making them. Um, and I just don't want to try and deal with the time involved in that. These videos do not require a lot of work, at least on an individual basis. It's just that they kind of need to be done at a particular time. Are you kidding me? Ah. Well, that is completely wipes out, more than wipes out, any benefit I gained. I just, yeah, okay, that's me being distracted. I did take out the cards. Huh. So I actually can't do it. Well, well, well. The the guards were in that specific room. If I'd got the room I targeted, then this would be fine. Oh well, not exactly a triumphant return, <laughs> because there is actually no way for me to do that now um well there is it's just a bit dumb So there are a couple of things that I can do at this point, right? So one is the same thing I did before, but you know, just actually hit. Um, that is in fact not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Hold W, hold A. I mean, also that gets harder because I can't hold down slow-mo. I can pause at least. So yeah, one option is you basically replay that attack, trying to hit the target room. There we go. So now I can progress. Hold S, hold A. 
hold left click. All right, cool. So we got that done. We can actually progress. But as soon as I, yeah, did that. And see, this is because it turns out this, unbeknownst to everyone, the brick and room destruction itself is a perfect lockpick. So it's a teleporter of some description. Is there any items on here? Nope, not really. We could get a sword, but swords are useless. We could get a loud gun, but we've already got that. So this is all really fine. Let's get back to it. Okay. So I took out precisely the wrong room and then I was lazy. I actually half expected not to be able to do that because the brick has a tendency to just run through things after that point. So this is 30 second alarm response. So that makes the other, uh, the brick approach uh, very risky and not one I really am willing to countenance. So we'll just do a regular attack. Um, yeah. In terms of games, I've been playing Fallen London and Star Trek Fleet Command, which are both mobile games because, I mean, they're games that I can put down at any point and pick up at any point. Um, Star Trek Fleet Command is not completely ideal in this regard, just because uh, I it does have a lot of timers and then it, that is encouraging you to play it specific times a day. But um, other than that, like I've been quite enjoying it. It's got some interesting writing. It's got some not fantastic writing too. Um, and it does kind of remind me of some of the earlier online um, multiplayer games, uh, which like I'm thinking of things like Utopia and that kind of thing just like it's built around alliances it's built around those kinds of um, communication not communication but around just making sure people are interacting and talking um, why how did the alarm get set off no seriously I don't understand who set off the alarm everyone died before seeing me That's really odd. I I guess no, I don't actually know how that worked. Hmm. And now the swapper. Actually I'll swap down to here. That'll be useful. Probably should have gone this way for that item though. Um anyway. I'm dead tired. I've I only got four hours of sleep last night. That too is a new parent problem. That I think was still faster because of our weakness, but it's still annoying. Uh. All right. What do we got? It's another teleporter of some description. Mm. Oh, whatever. We should be able to throw it. Just because we're weak doesn't mean we can't throw anything. Uh, okay, I guess we caught ourselves. Alrighty. And one last thing. Yeah, I did actually kind of consider trying to put together uh, Star Trek Fleet Command tip videos, but frankly, there are already people out there that have been doing it a lot longer, and I pretty much end up just duplicating their work, like uh, uh, Rev Juice, and there's even a couple of other people, and frankly, it's not that popular a game. like. I'm sure it's not too bad. 
does seem to have quite an active community. It's got a couple hundred servers. Um, but, like, that Rev Juice, I think, is the name. Most popular channel involved. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? Let's just take out that window. Uh, reinforcements? Yeah, absolutely. Bricking practice. I'm going to go too high. This is also a form of practice. How to adjust my momentum in space through guns. There we go. We get caught there. Okay, sweet. Once we're in, this animation isn't going at all anymore. That's interesting. Could have sworn it used to at least show something. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's got like 20,000 subs. So, and then there are other people that are already effectively trying to compete with him. And they have even fewer subs. <laughs> like, there, there's one guy who's doing reasonable videos. In fact, his production quality is probably higher than mine would be. I mean, his, they both do face cams, which makes it a little bit trickier to evaluate. Uh, but, like, he's got about 500 subs, which is about how many I have. Although I expect I'll probably lose some when I start this. Perfect hit. Yeah. Okay. Hold A. Hold W. Hold left click. All good. Now let's go get picked up. So it's really ship one that ruined everything. But that's okay. I mean, I still anticipate being in top 10. You know, we'll see. We will see. I mean, actually, one minute on that first ship was incredibly bad. As far as these things go. And my dock on next ship was similarly bad. Okay. Open this up. What do we got? Nothing useful. I was hoping for a slipstream or a visitor. There we go. Nicely, conveniently bypassed everything on that last ship. Took 16 seconds because I did dock first. Could have done it in half the time if I hadn't docked, but then I wouldn't have known for sure which side to hit and whether hitting either side would have been relevant. Okay, 593, perfect. Um, so currently number one, but Derek Will hasn't played. I know he's still playing regularly, so I don't really anticipate keeping that. And I am disappointingly close to uh, other people's scores there. But yeah, that was that was interesting. I'm really genuinely surprised I was able to recover it because... Uh, I was basically expecting that room to be very difficult to hit with the brick once I'd hit the room next to it. We got there. I'll see you next time. Don't know when next time will be. Possibly next weekend. It'll really depend on how things go. Alright, have a great time. And yeah, see you.